In this video, I'm going to show you how I get consistent engagement and leads off of LinkedIn just like this from a few simple posts. Let's get into it. If you're in the B2B or lead generation space, LinkedIn is by far and away the most social network that you need to be focused on. First and foremost, it's built for business, not entertainment. People are literally signing up there to find jobs, to network and to business. So it's not weird to get clients off of there, unlike Instagram or Facebook, where people are scrolling to look at cats and pictures of, well, other stuff. On top of that, the algorithm gives a ton of organic reach to creators. It's still a platform where there's more people on the platform than creators. So the organic algorithm in LinkedIn gives you favorability. You can actually get your content in front of people without having to pay for it. And finally, it's an entire platform made for marketing. There's newsletters, there's lives, there's videos, there's status updates, there's groups, there's advertising. There's a whole ecosystem up there that you can take advantage of. So in this video, I'm going into the private vault and I'm pulling out a private four part training that I'm going to give to you that is going to teach you how to get explosive results on LinkedIn and generate clients. I'm going to show you how to get a week's worth of content with a single idea. I'm going to show you how to 10x your engagement with a single line of copy. And I'm going to show you how you can actually generate leads, not just impressions. Just FYI, if you want the full version of this, it is inside of the Blueprint Training. You'll get access to the step-by-step -step training videos plus templates that we use to grow on LinkedIn. If interested at any time, hit the link below. It's only $199. So part one of four is helping you to understand the fundamentals of LinkedIn. So as I said, LinkedIn is an entire ecosystem. There are a number of things here at your disposal. We have the ability to start a post, add media to this, video, images. You can get people to sign up for events on here. You can hire people, you can share polls. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do within just the, the traditional social network portion of this. On top of that, you can obviously post jobs and hire people. There's groups that you can create too. that are actually very effective. You can run ads on LinkedIn. You can set up a business page here. But what we're going to focus on here is really just creating content as a post, because this is where 90% of your time will be spent. And this is also where you're going to have the best opportunity to get your content in front of people. So the first thing, and this is critically important, if you want to have success on LinkedIn, you have to have a niche or a singular ICP or avatar dialed into, because think about it this way. Let's say you do SEO. That's you're an SEO agency. You sell SEO. You sell it to anyone who can pay your retainer. That in itself is a problem. I got tons of other videos. You can check that out. But specifically on LinkedIn in any type of marketing, how are you going to create content? Who are you going to talk to? You're just going to get on there and start talking about SEO and link building and queued research. Who do you think is going to see that? Other SEOs. Other SEOs are not in market to hire you. They're probably just going to go on there and talk about how dumb you are and how SEO is either dead or you're just stupid when it comes to SEO in general. You know how the SEOs are. So creating content about the service that you provide is only going to bring in other peers and potentially competitors. You need to focus on the person behind the clients that you want to sell. So my agency, Webers, we focus on law firms. I actually have a separate LinkedIn profile that only creates content for law firms. And when we do that, we don't just talk about SEO. We're able to drill into everything that law firms care about on a daily basis. Intake, sales, rising costs hiring, changing laws, all these things give us a much bigger base of content to work with. So we're not just sputtering our wheels, creating the same thing over and over again. That also gives LinkedIn's algorithm an understanding of who to deliver your content to, because if it's targeted to a certain type of person, LinkedIn understands the type of people that should be seeing that content. And the more engagement that you get, the more it will be served to those people. But you're not going to get engagement if you're not talking to the right people. So starting there is incredibly, incredibly important. And like I said, I've got a ton of training on this channel right here that will teach you how to find a niche for your business. So now let's talk about how to set up your profile to finish the foundational elements here. This one here, Lara Costa is crushing it here on LinkedIn. She's got over 122,000 followers. She's got the ideal profile here. You can also check out mine, but let's use hers because she's absolutely crushing it. So first and foremost, profile picture that is zoomed in on her face and her head and a nice background behind it that helps her stand out in the feed. For example, if she had a dark background here, it would mesh in with her hair. You wouldn't really be able to see her. You wanna be able to clearly see your face. Professional headshots are the best. Don't be using something that's hyper zoomed in and pixelated. We're all adults here. You can afford to get $20 headshots done. She's also got a banner here done. You can get this done on Fiverr. It should have the main messaging that you want here that ties into your offer and your audience. She's also got some nice little as seen on here stuff to build some credibility. Also a nice little call to action up here. So I want to quickly show you mine here as well. You can see again, zoomed in professional headshot. And back here, I've got the call to action that I want, which is to push our book. So underneath your name, you got the ability to add a little about you section here. I like to go very direct and tell them exactly what I do and what my offer is. 
you can see here, Lara has actually got a call to action for her personal branding cohort, which I like as well. All this is driving. We talk about generating leads, not just engagement and generating sales. It's driving towards a call to action. So people are extremely clear when they see her content, they go to her profile, they know what they do. And there's a very clear path for them to contact her or that for them to get inside of her program. So she, you can see her call to action here is for her eight week program. Everything here is drilling specifically towards that. So the more attention she gets on her profile, the more people come and visit, the more clicks she's going to get on her links here. So we scroll down my profile here. You can see the services that I provide. You're able to put these in here. She actually doesn't have anything on here because maybe she doesn't provide services. She's just driving all the attention into her program here. So we scroll down here now to the featured part. This is an opportunity. I like to only put two links here. It's an opportunity to feature either a link externally to your website. She's got one here to her Calendly. She's also got one here to her personal branding cohort. Some people will put links to their top posts here to drive engagement to it or a video. On my profile, I have a link to our book to get opt, opt into our book and then also to join our pro Slack community. So this is an offer, a paid offer. This is a free offer to get people into our funnel. But again, you can see here, this takes up a lot of action, custom design graphics. Again, you can get this done on Fiverr. It takes literally five bucks to get something designed. Just make it whatever your call to action should be because this is very important real estate here. Again, we talk about the difference between just getting engagement and getting clicks and sales. We wanna drive people to where we want them to go to. And this is a great place to do that. You scroll down this is just the activity from your past post you can put in a nice about section here for yourself she's a great copywriter so she told her story here mine is very simple again telling my story here and then you just go into your experience with whatever you have i have all my companies listed out here her experience is just pushing into her singular job experience here now too now if you've got a ton of past experience you can put it on there if it's relevant to what you want to push i actually like that she's only got one thing here because again it's about attention fracture if she's got 20 things listed here people are going to click on those go there she just wants people to go directly to her company here because it's more opportunities for her to get people into her funnel and into her sales funnel so just to recap part one here one we're focused mainly on status updates ak just creating content for the feed two make sure that you have a niche Three, make sure that your profile is built out completely and it is giving call to actions, specifically ones that are targeting towards your niche and your avatar as well. Now let's move into part two, which is ideating content to create on LinkedIn. This is where a lot of you struggle, so I'm just gonna keep this as simple as possible. First and foremost, again, I know a lot of you are probably like, well, I'm not gonna select the niche. This guy doesn't know what he's talking about. That's fine, but this is gonna drill home even more why you need a niche or an avatar, because what are you gonna create about? Again, you can't just talk about your service because that's you talking about yourself. People don't want to hear about you. They want to hear about themselves and they want to hear about the problems and how you can help them solve their own problems. So the content that you need to create needs to basically just be a, a big value roadmap of all the problems that they have and also helping them out with solutions. So all you really need to do is map out a big list of problems that your avatar has. So if you go back to the example of law firms and I also have another company that specializes in working with agencies. All I literally do is in a notion document, I just list out all the potential problems that they have doesn't just have to be in relation to what you do. You want to start there because then there's a direct correlation between the content that you're creating and then drawing a line back to you. But you have to create a lot of content here, at least three posts a week on LinkedIn if you're going to have success. In order to create that much content over the course of the year, you can't just be talking about your service and problems specifically related to your service. And that's why you have to go deep into the who of who you're talking to. So again, we go back to the law firms. We do SEO for law firms. There's not an exhaustive list of problems that are related to that. It's really just all about customer acquisition. After I've got a list of those problems laid out, we want to do a little bit of research here. So I like to use tools like SEMrush, Google, YouTube, even LinkedIn itself to just try and learn a little bit more about those and understand what type of content is out there. Maybe that we can learn from and build on top of stick with the idea of law firms here. And we do like law firm intake. When we come over here, what we can do is we can just see a bunch of keywords. Now, we don't want to create content based on keywords. This is not SEO. This is really just more for understanding of what they might be struggling with to help us flush these out and understand much more topic based stuff, not just problems. We want to take these problems and turn them into actual topics that we can create content around. So SEMrush is a great tool to do that. I also really like YouTube. So if we look up like law firm intake here. We can see a bunch of videos and a bunch of content that is around this as well. And we can look for the ones that have the most views. We can dive into these videos, watch a little bit more and really get an understanding of how we might be able to come in here and create some topics around it. Best thing to do is also just look on LinkedIn. So just search for you want filter by posts and you can come here and you can see if there's anything on here that is generating a lot of attention and engagement that we can then build around. 
Now again, a bonus, if you sign up for the Blueprint Training, I'll give you the exact template that we use inside of Asana to manage all of this content really across platforms. This is how we manage all of our content from video to written content for LinkedIn with tons of contractors, tons of things flying around. I'll give you this exact framework and template inside of the Blueprint Training, plus all the additional trainings for LinkedIn and everything you need to run an agency in 2024, all for $199. So a big little bonus that I want to give you here is how to take one content topic and turn it into an entire week's worth of content. Because again, you're going to get exhausted. Consistency is key here. You're going to burn out. And I don't want you to have to constantly churn through stuff in order to stay ahead because then sometimes you start creating content that's just really not that impactful. So this right here is a little very simple crude map of how I take one topic and turn it into a whole week's worth of content. So let's say the topic is how to pick a niche for your business. I literally just posted about this on my YouTube channel two weeks ago. And what I did is this is the overall topic. I started with a long video about this that I posted on YouTube. Now this could be a blog post or this could just be a topic that you're going to write about on LinkedIn. This is an example for my company, The Blueprint, where we work with agencies. So one of the problems that they have is the inability to find and pick a niche that makes sense. So that's a topic that we want to create around. Now, I could just take this and post it once on LinkedIn and then be done with it. Or what we can do is we can take it and we can turn it into multiple posts. So on Monday, we make this a value post, just a standard organic update on LinkedIn, long form posts. We'll talk about that more coming up in part three. Then on Tuesday, I can actually promote the video. So I take that video and I write it with similar copy, maybe chop down a little bit and I promote the video on my YouTube or my podcast. So now I'm using my LinkedIn attention to drive this to get more video views and more podcast downloads. Then you can take subtopics off of this, right? So let's say the post that you write about is like five things to do when picking a niche or like five things to look for when picking a niche, right? You can literally take one of those and talk about how this is the most important thing. So this could be the most important thing when picking a niche. In this, when you start thinking about subtopics off of this, I mean, this could be a whole month. This could turn into a whole campaign if you think about it, about picking a niche. And then we can do a comment post, which we'll talk about in a second. If you've got any sort of call to action or template or additional resource, you can make a comment post saying, hey, I've got this great template on how to help you pick a niche. Drop it below and I'll send you a DM. And then another subtopic post here is organic, right? So again, you can see here in what we're actually doing, because I'm doing this not just for my personal business, but for my three companies that I own. And what we do is we're very strategic now. Every two months, we come up with a new campaign that's broad enough for us to create a ton of content in it for LinkedIn, for uh, YouTube, for live events, for all these different things, because we burn through content too. And content fatigue is something that's really real. And when you burn through your content, you end up creating stuff that's crap. So instead, we'll pick one campaign topic that we can go very deep into. And there's so many different spokes and subtopics that we can create off of it. And then every couple of months, once we exhaust that, we move that to the next thing. And we're always making sure that that campaign topic is mapping back to what we're selling. So there's levels to this, right? I don't want to overwhelm you, but I just want to let you know that first thing is getting started, setting up your profile, creating some content, but then you're going to start to see the big picture here. And that's when you're really going to start to have really explosive success on LinkedIn. So now it's moving to part three, and that's how to create the content for LinkedIn. That's going to get you some good results. So I'm not going to lie here. Your success is going to come down to your ability to create good content or really just write good copy. I know a lot of you are not great copywriters out there, and that's why I'm going to run you through a couple of copywriting frameworks that we use and that we teach inside the Blueprint Training. So I'm going to give you one. Again, there's five that we teach inside the Blueprint Training. If you want access to it, just hit the link below. I call this the Problem Agitate Solution Copywriting Framework. You can see it's consistent. What did we talk about already before? We talked about drilling into an avatar, drilling into their problems. We just want to take those problems because that's what they care about and that's what we want to lead off with. So trouble selecting a niche for your agency or even better, you take a symptom of that problem, struggling to stand out in a crowded competition, right? Because that is actually the same problem, just phrased differently. And we're just phrasing it with a question very simple. Or we can use a controversial point of view. You're never going to be able to grow your agency the way that you are. Here's why. Right. So these are all things that are leading into the general problem of not being able to get clients, not being able to stand out because they don't have a niche in their agency. Then we just can agitate this. So agitating just means that we're drilling and providing more supporting information to support that problem statement that we made. So two out of 10 agencies are going to fail by the end of this year or agitating the initial problem, too, which is, hey, you can't get clients. You're unable to build bills. You're working 70 hours a week. Your wife is mad that you don't see her. That's all agitating the problem. That just gives people more and more reason to keep scrolling and keep reading and staying engaged on our post because engagement here is key. 
The thing that's gonna drive your post the farthest is getting them to take actions on your post, clicking that little read more button, dropping a like, dropping a comment. And sometimes that means pissing people off to get them to drop a comment because all those things are gonna drive your LinkedIn engine to drive your content to get in front of more people. It's all an engagement-based platform. That's what's key here, getting engagement, getting engagement. So we engage by first meeting them where they are, talking about them, their problems, not you, your solutions first. So we lead with their problems, we agitate it, and then we offer a solution because that's where the value comes in, right? We're not adding value by saying, hey, we can do this for you. We're adding value by saying, you should really pick a niche, right? So we're building our case. It's almost like a lawyer arguing a case in court. You're starting with a problem, you're agitating that problem, then you're offering a solution for free just to help. And that's how you build value. You do that over and over and over again. You continuously create content around this over and over and over again. Inherently over time, they're gonna see you as a solution for their problems. A lot of the times you only have to make call to actions on these posts. You can just get clients by just doing this over and over again. If you do this for three to six months, I promise you, you will get a couple of clients. I guarantee it. I've seen this happen a hundred times inside the blueprint. We teach this to people. It's all about consistency. It's all about nailing your copy. And it's all about nailing the problem statements for your target client. So if we're getting super surgical, right? I talked about the problem agitate solution. The most important part of every piece of copy that you write is hooks. The hook is the engaging part of the post that gets people to stop scrolling and pay attention to what you're talking about. So LinkedIn, you only get the first two sentences of the hook. So like I said, ask a question that should be tied into their problem. Struggling to get your Facebook ads to convert, stating a controversial point of view. You don't need employees to build a successful company. Let me explain. Uh, leading off with data points, because data, you can't argue with them. They're very black and white, and it makes people pick a side, either pro or against. And that pro or against is gonna make them argumentative and hopefully make them comment on your post. So 44% of people in relationships are not happy. Two out of 10 agencies are gonna fail. Whatever that looks like. This is what you really wanna work on. The problem agitate solution is a framework. The hook is the most important part to get people to stop scrolling. Hook, this writing tip is weird. Really great way to kind of like open a loop. It's also an antithesis point. He's saying, this is a tip, but it's weird. So it's contrarian thinking. It's not something, it's going something that goes against the grain. Also you can see here, nice little call to action, visit my website. And the goal here is to get this click. Cause once you click this, that sends a message back to LinkedIn saying, this is an engaging post, we should show it more. I don't know who this is, but he's on my feed. Here's another great one from Lara. I spent $20,000 in mentorship this year. Just a big bull segment here, AKA the relatable story, right? Even though this is about her, which is fine. It's a relatable story because saying I only had $500 in the bank. I spent 300 saying like, hey, I know you're not making a lot of money, but this is something that's gonna help you out. Again, you see this picture of her, click read more. Also showing photos of yourself is a nice way to kind of build more engagement. LinkedIn is definitely becoming more of a platform where people wanna see more of you. They wanna see less corporate jargon. It's becoming more of a true social network at all. So there's a bunch of different tactics that we teach inside of the Blueprint training. I'm not gonna get into all of them here. The one that I will focus on the most is the giveaway post because the giveaway post here is something that is going to drive a ton of engagement it's going to drive the most comments and it's going to drive the most leads and sales for you now we don't want to do this all the time you know inside of our training in the blueprint training we'll walk you through all the different types of content and how to build their calendar off this we literally have a calendar laid out saying like these are the different types of posts this is when to use it etc but the one that i will give you here is the giveaway because this again is gonna help you turn engagement into actual leads and sales. So with that being said, let's move into the fourth and final part, which is how to generate actual leads and not just engagement on LinkedIn. It's a common trap that a lot of people fall into. They get on LinkedIn, they start getting a lot of comments, they start getting a lot of engagement, and they spend a lot of energy and time and effort, but they're not getting actual lead sales customers off of the platform. And that's because you do have to have a mechanism to take engagement and turn it into actual clients and customers. So a lot of people will just start blasting off random DMs on there to cold people. I hate that, it doesn't work, it's annoying, and it goes to spam, and it's also bad for your brand and bad for you because people are gonna think you're an asshole. So what I like to do is what I call out warm outbound. Warm outbound is using content to qualify get people to raise their hand and tell us that they're in market and give us permission to contact them. And the best way to do that is by asking them to leave a comment in exchange for something of value. So just like you've seen webinar campaigns, book campaigns, uh, VSL funnels, all these different funnels where people opt in with their email, it's old as internet marketing. We can do the same thing here on LinkedIn, but instead of them giving us their email, they're dropping a comment and saying, hey, I'm interested, you can message me, and then we broker a message with them. So I have a whole inside sales team that does this for me. We do about two of these posts per month, and we'll generate hundreds and hundreds of conversations and emails that always lead into sales or leads for our businesses. 
So for example, this one here has driven over 3,600 comments. It's pretty nuts if you think about it. And all we're doing <laughs> is giving away a couple of templates. So six agency sales templates, battle tested, have given away for free. LinkedIn won't let me drop the links here, so drop me a comment and I'll DM them to you. So what happens here, people raise their hands and say, hey, I'm interested. And what I do after that is then I have my inside sales team, or you can do this as well. Just pop them open, send them a message. And inside of that message, we are sending them the information. And then we'll have a little conversation with them after that saying, hey, um, you know, do you offer SEO as a service to clients? Uh, we'll just kind of have a conversation to see if we can then get them interested in our program. They're telling us that they're in market and they're raising their hands saying, yeah, I'm interested in you reaching out and we can have a conversation. So it's much more social selling. It's much more conversational selling and it's much easier than blasting out a bunch of random DMs. So all this works together in your ecosystem because the more you do this, the more authority you're going to build, the more followers you're going to build, the more engagement you're going to build, the more people are going to see you as an authority. So they'll want to hear from you. So all this snowballs over time. The most important thing is getting started and staying consistent. So just to recap what we talked about here, we talked about the fundamentals, how to set up your profile, how to pick a niche. We talked about how to come up with content ideas. We talked about the type of content to create and some copywriting frameworks that you can use. And finally, we talked about how to take engagement and turn it into leads. If you want the full training on this, we've got literally step-by-step -step videos. We've got templates. We've got other teachers in there. Brendan Hufford, he's generated over a million dollars alone in revenue off of LinkedIn hit the link below. It'll take you to the blueprint training for $199. You get access to all that plus a ton of other stuff, private Slack community, weekly live events, and a ton of other training for your agency as well. Hit the link below. And if not like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.